We're still watching news today. The federal government has announced additional relief measures for states hit hardest by flooding and insecurity. Vice President Kashim Shetima, during a visit to an internally displaced persons camp in Niger State, pledged more support to displaced communities, including 3 billion naira already allocated to each state. Shetima emphasized that future assistance will be based on evidence-driven assessments to ensure the most affected areas receive adequate help. Niger State Governor Mohamed Umar Bago expressed gratitude for the federal support as the state grapples with widespread displacement due to floods and insecurity. Vice President was joined by senior officials, including state governors and emergency agency leaders. And joining us to discuss this from Meduguri is uh, Director of Research and uh, Rescue NEMA, Air Commodore Kennedy uh, Mataluo. Glad to have you join us today on News Day. Okay, thank you very much. I'm glad to be on your news. All right, very good. So, how's NEMA coping with the flooding in Borneo first? And of course, uh, what major challenges have you encountered so far in your relief efforts? We can also have uh, an insight on uh, uh, Niger State as well, if you will. Okay. Uh, well, I'll say that it's uh, kind of challenging because the water, you know, what just came suddenly can be overwhelming. And we are doing our best, especially with the uh, other stakeholders we have. Our main job usually is to coordinate the activities of the first responders, and that's what we are doing. But we are working side with side with the first responders now. And uh, we have done much, and we are still having so many people yet to be rescued, and that's why we are out to really go around and see how many we can really rescue. The challenge is that uh, we have a lot of uh, boats that have been brought, brought from the army. Uh, the uh, name are too brought in some of the boats. However, we can't say they are enough. We still have a good number of troops. If we have additional boats to cover more areas. Mm. But looking at the situation of things, so what exactly Hello? is it? Can you hear, can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Okay, yes. I was going to ask you what exactly uh, is the condition of the people. I know that most of the people who were affected are even internally displaced people. The fact that uh, Bornu is one area that is uh, rife with uh, the insurgency that is ongoing in the country. Uh, what exactly is the situation of things? We know that uh, they need relief materials like food and a, a lot of uh, things. What is the situation of things? Are they getting all of this result? Well, we can say the situation is good. The situation is actually bad. Calm has been created by the state uh, government, I mean, the government of the Borno state. Well, I would say that they've provided the initial area that people can, you know, uh, reside, but it's still not enough. The number of people uh, being brought to the calm is overwhelming. Maybe need additional camps will need to be open, but as regards uh, uh, food, water, and medicament. Mm. Uh, we... the, uh, emergency management agency, and we also have other stakeholders uh, like United Nations that are still supporting. Even yesterday, I think Angote also supported uh, NEMA as well as the Borno State Government with one, one billion each. We hope that other uh, well-meaning individuals will also come to the support of the state because more is still required. Indeed, uh, more still required. Uh, Air Commodore Kennedy Mataluo, uh, retired uh, director, search and rescue NEMA, uh, talking to us live there from Meduguri, Borno State, uh, the aftermath of the flooding. And of course, uh, we can still see uh, much uh, relief efforts uh, going on there to have, uh, you know, rehabilitate uh, victims and, of course, uh, put things in proper perspective. It's good to have you with us.